Hi, this is Justin from Sonic Scoop, coming at you from Braun Studios this time. Once again, thanks to B&H, we get to bring you a three-part tutorial series, this time on guitar miking. We're going to start with acoustic guitars. First, giving you great strategies for getting an excellent acoustic guitar sound with just one mic. Then we'll move into some more sophisticated acoustic guitar miking techniques using two mics, uh, both stereo and blended techniques. And then in the last part of this series, we're going to look at approaches for recording electric guitar, both with a single mic and with some multi-mic techniques. We've got a great guitar player here in the studio, Suleen Vanderwalt. Let's dive right in. All right, let's look at some mono mic techniques for acoustic guitar. A lot of people think that you have to do some, you know, sophisticated placement to get a really great full dimensional acoustic guitar sound, but you don't. A single microphone can really do a lot. And a single microphone is generally going to be preferable when you're working a kind of dense mix. In a really dense mix, you're not going to want the acoustic guitar to take up too much space in the mix. And a single microphone, often pointed right about here where the neck meets the body, is going to give you a really great balanced tone that's going to fit into a dense mix pretty nicely. In general, the further out you go towards the fingerboard, the brighter the tone's going to be. And as you get closer to the sound hole, the more bass you'll get. You want to be careful if you're uh, pointing directly at the sound hole, you'll get a lot of bass buildup, probably too much. So aiming at the sound hole a bit off axis can be a big help. Some engineers will record out here by the bridge, and you'll generally get a lot of uh, mid-range by the bridge, a bit more pick attack, but this can give you a very focused sound, and it might be appropriate for the track that you're working on. In general, I would say you want to start 6 to 12 inches away, uh, depending on how far back in the mix you want the acoustic guitar to sit. So let's plug this mic in, and we'll hear each of these zones, and then we'll come back and we will do uh, a few of the most popular fixed positions. Out here where the neck meets the body, going in more towards the sound hole, a little bit off axis, and then recording closer to the bridge. But these aren't the only techniques possible. Uh, some engineers will record from above or below the sound hole, and occasionally you'll see people record kind of over the shoulder, trying to give an impression of what the acoustic guitar sounds like to the player. Last quick note is that if we were doing guitar and vocal today, I might be inclined to set my mics to a hypercardioid or bidirectional pattern, and that will give us greater isolation between the singer and the guitar. So we won't have too much spill from the guitar into the vocal mic and vice versa. But for this demonstration, we're going to be sticking mostly to cardioid pattern. All right, let's start hearing this. Suleen, you ready to play a little bit? Yep. All right. Alright, let's hear a few of the most popular fixed mono mic positions. Thanks for joining us for this installment in our three-part series on mic and guitars. Make sure you check out the other two parts. This has been Justin Coletti of Sonic Scoop, coming at you from Braun Studios, courtesy of B&H. Go to sonicscoop.com. Check us out there for more videos. Go to bnh.com. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you next time.